Hey everyone, Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd here. Uh, going to an event at the University of Miami later today and hopefully meeting some players. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but definitely wearing the colors. Uh, Want to get into the technicals today. So of course we're going to talk a little bit about rates, but it's really amazing the way the technicals work, which is the charts where I show you the bonds uh, and the treasuries. So let's go straight into it. Um, as you can see right here, this high point, which is our lowest rates, that was last Wednesday. <clears throat> a little frustrating for me because I was anticipating a little bit more of a run in those rates going down, those bonds going up. So I floated a couple clients only to Friday get this, where it dropped all the way down here to 40 basis points, uh, which is a huge drop. But we kind of stabilized a little bit uh, yesterday, Monday, and then today, Tuesday. It's the, almost the end of the day today, Tuesday. So what are we talking about here with the technicals? This level is a Fibonacci level. That percentage there is one of the Fibonacci uh, sequences. So this line here is a 25-day moving average. Watch how we break through the Fibonacci, which is always tough, comes back down. We go all the way down on Friday when it was a skeleton crew and there weren't a lot of people working uh, on these. And it drops right to that 25 day moving average. Stops there, jumps back up, finishes the day right on the Fibonacci level. It's pretty amazing how these technicals work. Then yesterday, we saw some gains and then it scaled back and went under. And what did it do? It finished right on the Fibonacci level. Today, starting at that Fibonacci level, comes down to the 25 day moving average and sits here. So this is showing us that these technicals are really strong, these levels of resistance are really strong. We're gonna continue seeing that downward trend, the upward movement in the bonds, which is a downward trend in rates. So even though I got frustrated last Wednesday because I should have locked some of my clients, uh, hindsight's always 20-20, but I thought we were gonna see better results for them. Um, we're still floating them. Some of them don't have to close yet, so I was on the phone explaining and showing them what we're doing. Uh, now, here's the treasuries. So the treasuries, very similar, this is a level of resistance here and look how we've just sat on it up and down this level of resistance whenever the treasuries dropped the treasuries going down is good for interest rates going down uh, it you know reaches this Fibonacci level which when we break through this Fibonacci level definitively it's gonna be a free-for-all a free run down we're gonna see rates drop when we see this type of stuff um, of course it came back the last this was Friday the day after 4th of July Another that same day that went crazy with the bonds going down, with treasuries were going up, um, but here we are sitting on this on this level of resistance, and then this moving day average, this 25 day moving day average, uh, just not going past that. So it's cool to see how these technicals work, especially if you understand them and you can uh, advise your clients one way or the other. So. What I was advising my clients today is when we we reach that point Wednesday, now that we're hitting these levels of resistance and bouncing off, hopefully we get some good news this week. Uh, there's a lot of news with the Fed this week, and it bounces us. If that bounces us back up here, then great. Let's go ahead. Let's lock you. Let's get you to closing. We'll get you at some of the best rates that we've had in years. Uh, so that's the importance of working with someone who knows how to read the technicals and uh, analyzes them on a daily basis. Uh, my crystal ball doesn't always work as it didn't work on Wednesday, but still getting some of the best rates uh, that we have historically. So thank you very much.